we are Mark and Stephanie. We're coming to you from Chickasaw State Park in what's, what's Henderson, it? Tennessee. Henderson, Tennessee. And this is actually, we bought an RV about three months ago. Mm -hmm. And this is our fourth Tennessee State Park. So we thought it might be fun to kind of talk about what we've loved about some of them, what we might not like as much about some of them, um, just to give you guys some insight about what we're finding about Tennessee State Parks. So starting with this one, what would you say about Chickasaw? Yeah, Chickasaw is, you know, one of the state parks that has a decent sized campground, 50-50 uh, on sewer hookups and full hookups. And uh, we found that it's great uh, amenities. It has great hiking, uh, great water sports. We went over to the lake today and paddleboarded for the very first time. Uh, kind of a bucket list thing for my for me to do. And um, we've really enjoyed it. We've enjoyed all our state parks and we've lifelong Tennesseans and we have yet to really take advantage of these resources in our own state. We thought, you know, watching all the YouTubers out there, we thought we got to get an RV and go to, you know, the Yellowstone or Mount Zion, which we still may, but mm -hmm. just to break it in, we started in our backyard. And Tennessee has great natural resources to take advantage of. Yeah, I'd say definitely. So we started, our very first one was Fall Creek Falls, mm -hmm. um, which is near Cookville. And we actually went to college in Cookville. So we were familiar with Fall Creek Falls, but honestly had never really mm -hmm. visited obviously the camping grounds for Fall Creek Falls. And so we really loved that one. I wouldn't say we had our best spot. We did not have a primo spot mm -hmm. at Fall Creek Falls, um, but we're learning. We're learning how to pick spots and, and what's best. So we were a little crowded in our spot, but there were certainly other options that would have been a little better for us um, had we kind of looked into that. Do we have yeah. sewer at Fall Creek Falls? Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, but Fall Creek Falls is beautiful. So yes. apart from, you know, you, at that point, we weren't spending a lot of time in our camper anyway. Yeah. So we were totally fine with where we were. Um, and we took our dogs for the first time, which we'll share with you guys, um, our dog experiences. So that was our very first time ever camping with our dogs, hiking, um, and it was absolutely gorgeous. So what was your favorite thing? Yeah, fun fact. Uh, Fall Creek Falls, Tennessee's largest state park, 29,000 <laughs> acres, I think. And yeah, I uh, I agree that um, hiking, I think, has been my favorite thing all along. And, and backing up, when we started searching for uh, RV parks and campgrounds, um, we, we did what everybody else does, go on YouTube, start searching. And, and thank you guys for doing that. But some of them just weren't enough information or they may have been a camera hanging out the window or maybe a spot here too. And it's hard to get that in a camera. I know that mm -hmm. without actually seeing it in person. And you know, you do the photos from reviews and Google earth and Google maps and try to stitch all that together. And like Steph said, I moved our reservation in Fall Creek Falls from a great spot to a not so great spot. So that's on me, <laughs> but you live and you learn and we still had a great time. Yeah. Beautiful. The falls are absolutely gorgeous. Um, and it's the kind of thing that you can hike to see the falls or you can literally drive mm -hmm. to a parking lot and get out and walk five yeah. minutes to yeah. see the falls. So you don't necessarily have to rugged hike um, at Fall Creek Falls to get to see some incredible things. So, And then our second one I had no idea about, had never yeah. even heard of. Before you go oh. there, quick tip. Do not go into the park <laughs> on the northern entrance. Never, ever do that. Ever. Yeah. Even in a car. Don't even go there. That go was the something Southern we Memphis. learned. We, uh, yeah, we took some twists and turns getting into the park. Again, brand new RV owners, mm -hmm. typical owners, and that was a little bit treacherous and scary. So, yes. so yeah. So then our next one, we went to Bledsoe, yes. right, which Bledsoe is in Creek. Gallatin, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. Again, we live probably what 50 miles north mm -hmm. of the, north of there, mm -hmm. um, and had never been at all. Um, and so we learned a lot. We got west of there. Okay. And so <laughs> you have to correct me. Thanks. <laughs> So we got um, a beautiful spot for yes. that one. We were actually right on the lake, backed up to the lake. Um, our next door neighbors for that particular weekend were a group of campers with a ton of kids and they had a big time and we enjoyed watching them and hanging out with them. So that was a lot of fun for us. So Bledsoe again, not something, um, I mean, not a super fancy camp campground. Mm -hmm. I mean, pretty basic, but the hiking was beautiful. The mm -hmm. lake was beautiful. Um, we, had a, we had a really great time there. So. Yeah, yeah, funny, maybe, I don't know this for sure, but Bled Bledsoe Creek State Park is maybe one of the state's smallest state parks at 169 mm -hmm. acres. It kind of wraps around Oakery Lake, which is beautiful. Like Steph said, we did upgrade our campsite there and got maybe the primo spot of the whole campground. It's like 55, I think it was. And a beautiful weekend. 
uh, we were there kind of visiting uh, family members that were playing ball up at Ball State, but uh, ended up having a nice hike and they had lake activities, obviously mm -hmm. fishing and water sports and paddle boat and kayak rentals there on site. Uh, primitive camping and kudos to those guys that do the primitive camping with tents because that ain't me that ain't us that, uh, we're glamping for sure <laughs> definitely have the amenities and had yeah. um, we did not have sewer there but it was fine it was only two nights and we may do and had, had a dump station so yeah yeah, yeah. So then our third one we went to just a couple of weekends ago was Memorial. Montgomery Bell State Park. Again, very close to us, less than an hour away from us or right at an hour from us. Um, had not been there as well. And so that was, we got another really good, we got a Creekside site, which what was our site? 108. Yes. Um, which we've learned, Montgomery Bell, which ones are the ones? What are the numbers that are, are Creekside that are uh, really good? The even numbers in the 100s are definitely yeah. Creekside. Those are those are what you're looking for if you go to yeah. Montgomery Bell. It is incredibly crowded, very <laughs> tight, very tight park. Um, lots and lots of activity, lots and lots of kids. Um, not super quiet if that's what you're looking for, but mm -hmm. um, again, a lot of great hiking there. In fact, there's a 10 mile hike that mm -hmm. we did not get to do that we can't wait to go back. We're going back in July in just a couple weeks and um, we're gonna definitely take on that longer hike, but um, lots of great hiking. Mm -hmm beautiful campsite by the lake i mean by the creek there so. yeah and there are a couple of spot or smaller lakes embedded in Montgomery bell and and steps right now 10 or 15 miles of hiking and we barely touched the surface of that um i had been to Montgomery bell one other or several other times just to play golf didn't even ever know there was a campground heck before march of this year didn't care if any things had campground so uh, Montgomery bell was definitely a really a gem and kind of south uh, West Middle Tennessee, if you will, and very close to Nashville, very close to Clarksville, less than an hour above. They have a beautifully newly renovated lodge there mm -hmm. and with a restaurant, which we did not partake mm -hmm. in, but probably will go back and do. And um, in fact, I have a cousin getting married there in just a few weeks. Mm -hmm. So um, it's a beautiful place. Again, beautiful water. Um, great, great place. We had mm -hmm. a great time in Montgomery Bell. And then that brought us to Chickasaw, which we've been here a couple of days. Um, the humidity is at a thousand percent. Um, so yeah, yeah, if it looks like we've been swimming, that is why, because it is so, so hot today. But um, yes. yeah, we got, like, a, like Mark said, we got out on the water, got to do some paddle boarding. There are horses here. I definitely yes. want to go horseback riding. You can do trail riding here and um, beautiful horses. So they're, they're just right across the road from us. Um, very quiet. This is almost a polar opposite as far as activity to what we were used to at Montgomery Bell just a few weeks ago. Mm -hmm. um, very quiet here. Um, haven't seen hardly yeah. any activity, very really. Very little traffic. Would you say those horses are so close they could be our neighbors? <laughs> You're so funny. You don't get that right. That's his neighbors. joke. It's our neighbors, yes. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what we're finding. Um, and we, you know, we don't know how much of this we're going to do, but mm -hmm. like, like Mark said, we've been looking for state park videos. And um, for more information about them, Tennessee in particular, because that's where we're from, that's what we love. And so we thought maybe we would kind of add to the list to see if there's any folks interested in learning more about Tennessee State Park. So we hope to work on this and maybe build more content, make sure we get you guys some videos and pictures so that you can help us visit Tennessee State Parks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and there are 56 state parks and you know, I don't think all of them have campgrounds. I think maybe 38 are uh, campgrounds for RVers and maybe tents. I don't know how many of those are actually suitable for, you know, full hookups. Some of those are, you can filter all those out. I will say this, the Tennessee State Park website reservation system is fantastic. It is up to, up to speed on as far as reservations and cancellations. You can't cancel on this, the website. You have to call and do that. But as soon as that cancellation is entered into the system, that site becomes available immediately. And we've uh, actually uh, benefited from some of those cancellations and got a couple of folks that uh, we camp with or, or from our hometown. And we're, we're kind of sharing how our tricks and tips and tricks are on getting campsites. Cause as all you know, campsites are hard to come by these days. And you, you know, unless you're a year out and are, you know, two years out in some campgrounds and that's just not where we are. We're not that far into it and not sure uh, where it will be six months from now, but we're not full timers. We're weekenders and work and uh, still uh, are beginning to really catch on to this uh, lifestyle. Yeah. And hopefully uh, we'll see more of the state and, and outside of the state eventually. Yeah. And Mark has learned a lot. He's done really well at figuring out 
what campsites we want, where we want to go, and jumping on and grabbing those cancellations. And so we've we've had really good luck finding some great places, some great sites. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, and and we're loving loving Tennessee more than we even knew. So mm -hmm. yeah. So like I said, we've got um, Montgomery Bell coming up again soon. Mm -hmm. Natchez Trace. Natchez Trace coming up. Yes. Um, so yeah, we were looking at a map today, kind of looking at the whole state to see, and we're going towards. Knoxville later yes. in the fall and so yes. yeah we, we hope to see a lot of Tennessee and um, during this camping season season and if not this year then definitely more of that next year so mm -hmm. so yeah maybe come back see mm -hmm. if we're here again we'll give you more insight on some Wait, of the beautiful I think, I think we're supposed to say hit that like button and subscribe but I don't even know if we're there yet I don't think we're gonna do that yet <laughs> yeah <I laughs> we're just, we're just beginning we're beginning um, and we'll we'll see where this goes so yes. But yeah, we, we love it. So we hope that you guys will follow us to Tennessee.